another baking video I have carrots I have walnuts I have some pumpkin seeds and I am gonna be doing an oat carrot cake muffin type of situation so I have some oat flour here which basically I just took a cup of oats and just blend it in my ninja and you get oat flour so you're gonna need oat flour uh, walnuts sunflower seeds whichever types of nuts you want if you don't want to add nuts it's, it's fine you don't need to a cup of carrots you're going to need salt baking powder baking soda cinnamon nutmeg vanilla essence milk nut butter uh, i am using almond butter but you can use peanut butter as well as some maple syrup if you don't want to use maple syrup or if you don't have maple syrup you can use honey if you don't have honey you can use sugar so that's what we're gonna do so in my bowl I'm going to add my oat flour, salt, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg, stir everything, and then after, then after, I'm just going to add my milk, my nut butter, my maple syrup, vanilla extract, and stir everything until it's combined, and add in my carrots as well as my toppings, alas, and yeah, that's it, so let's get started. Alright guys, so this is how the butter is looking after I added all the ingredients. The last thing that I added was the carrots, the walnuts, and some pumpkin seeds. What I'm gonna do now, I was gonna put it in cupcake, in like little cupcake foils like this, but it's way too small. So I'm thinking to just maybe... Well, I don't have to still put it in this, still decided, but my oven is preheating at 350 degrees, which is 176 degrees in Celsius, so I'll see you guys when I figure it out. Okay, okay guys, so I didn't bother to put it in the little cupcake tins, I just put it in this little loaf pan, however you call it, and I just put some chocolate chips on top, some white chocolate, as well as what is this uh sunflower seeds so now i'm gonna pop it into my oven for 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes and i'll catch you guys when it's done all right so 30 minutes pass and i want to test this to see if it's fully cooked so it's still kind of like so you see that it's not like fully fully cook so I think I'm gonna put it back in for another 10 minutes so far it has been it's been baking for 25 minutes but I'm gonna put it for 10 more so, minutes so time it just went off I just take it out I clean my little, little thing here to check it so let's see okay so let me clean it back out and check it again. Clear, clear, clear. Alright, so it's finished cook. It actually took 35 minutes to cook in my oven at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna let this cool and once it's completely cool, then I would take a piece and do a little taste test. So I'm gonna cut it now. should have wait till it's like you know completely cool because i'm making a mess out of it all right the oat cake i should have waited for it to cool a bit more before i cut into it but it smells delicious so can't wait to dig into this um it's still pretty hot mm. Mm-hmm. 
strong color. So it's not sweet at all. Mm. It's definitely not sweet. Um, the recipe did call for a quarter cup of maple syrup. And I added a little less than quarter. But that's okay. But other than that, there's like the little chocolate chips in there. If you want it more sweeter, you can add a cup of you know maple syrup or a cup of sugar whatever the case is but i really care for it to be too sweet so i mean it's a healthy dessert after all so it doesn't really bother me if you're someone who likes healthy desserts and not too sweet desserts you'll definitely love this however if you want to try it just up the sugar by a cup more a cup and a half to your preference so yeah finish my carrot cake and i'll catch you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe